Hello and welcome to our second Monarch's Journey character. We are playing as King Livlin the Great of Gwynedd. And our tasks are to control all of Wales, to have nine vessels of our dynasty, duke level vessels that is. And we need to hold the Kingdom of Wales during this. And we also need to have four of our children married to people of English culture with titles or a claim. So let us begin with uh, getting some children. We'll need to get the seduction focus. We'll need a wife. Well, we don't need a wife, but it does make things easier if we also have a wife at the same time. And uh, let's see. Let's go with uh, a princess of the Byzantine Empire. And of course, we'll uh, invite some women to our court, preferably lustful ones. And uh, let's uh, let's start off with uh, seducing Previslava. Um, let's see what else we need to do. Let's collect taxes, train troops, the usual business. And of course, improve the relations of the Pope. That is very important as a Catholic, especially when we need to conquer some Catholic land, as he might give us claims to that Catholic land. Let's also set an ambition. We're not going to go for seeing the realm prosper, as there will be a crusade very soon after the start, and we are going to participate in that. And uh, well, that's going to be a war we'll be involved in. So, yeah. Now let's also make sure these people are being educated. Uh, we need to set a crown focus. And we can change a law perhaps. Well, we cannot remove council laws as everybody opposes that, but we can have title revocation. So let's go with that. And I think we are ready to... Oh, let's also join an order. That's always a good thing to do, especially if you want the Pope to like you. Okay, I think that's it. Let's pause. And uh, we should hopefully very soon see a crusade show up. While we're still waiting for the crusade, let's also check to see if there are any unmarried people in our court. Or rather our realm, but probably our court. Yep, they're all in our court. Because, well, if we are going to, we need to get a bunch of people who are of our dynasty as vessels with land then we do need to make sure that these people are actually um, helping us get more dynasty members let's uh, sort by age so that's it's someone of around the same age that she gets married to and let's get our gold we're going to need a lot of gold to be able to uh, invade England successfully although we should get a very significant amount from participating in the crusade but uh, we'll see how much we get exactly once uh, the crusade has been won still need to wait about two years for that to happen though so we'll just uh, keep seducing women for a bit and uh, I'll get back to you once the crusade actually begins. Well, the crusade is starting in 33 days. I already moved our troops over to Egypt, their little ship, so that uh, as soon as the crusade begins, that is to say now, we can move off the ships and uh, start uh, crusading. Now, of course, every commander who uh, spend some time here will become a crusader and that means uh, amongst other things they'll like each other and they'll have higher martial so we want to make sure to uh, just make everyone we can make a crusader a crusader so that uh, everyone gets along great and uh, we uh, don't have to worry about any sorts of uh, murders happening inside our realm and also so that if we are looking to replace our commanders at any point or our marshal, then uh, our available choices have just that little bit of extra 
martial skill. Oh dear, looks like somebody who got scurvy along the way. So yeah, we are just doing this little uh, switcheroo with the commanders until everyone has the crusader trait. Now it does appear that um, this crusade is already almost won. I think that has to do with a war that was already ongoing. Yeah, Damascus declared a war on Jerusalem and as a result of that Jerusalem has a bunch of stuff occupied which counts for the crusade as they're in that as well and uh, it's the same realm. Aside from the crusade going on we uh, have gotten three children and one of our lovers is pregnant. Well there we go we have our fourth child so as long as uh, they actually make it to adulthood we should be fine on getting four of our children married to English people. And uh, with that done, let us just focus on the crusade for now. Alright, we have won the crusade. Well, I say we, but somebody else is obviously the uh, ultimate uh, winner here. But uh, yeah, the Catholics have won the crusade, so let's head our sending our troops home with the ships we still had there and also uh, let's go set ourselves a new ambition let's just go with uh, making a friend that sounds nice and uh, our wife absolutely hates us maybe our mother would like to be our friend now we got close to 4000 gold with the uh, crusade money Unfortunately, um, the King of England was also participating, so he has a decent sum of gold as well. So, uh, hopefully we'll see him spend some of that gold. It's already gone down a bit. Because uh, if we attack him, we will see him getting mercenaries with that money. Now, with Crusade 1, let's also see whether we can get an invasion on anyone. We can get an invasion on the King of England. So we'll just go ahead and ask the Pope for that already, because uh, that's the best way to get these uh, counties that we need in Wales. And it doesn't hurt to also have a uh, strongly diminished England, because it's all ours when we succeed in this uh, invasion. Because uh, if we only take this, they, they might end up wanting it back. We also need to have a lot more land for duchies anyway, so it's all quite good to go for England. Let's see how many, how much money they have. They still have uh, a decent sum of gold. Um, they also have a really high martial uh, king, so uh, we could see if we can maybe send some of the women we've been seducing there and... Uh, Plotting to kill him, perhaps? Right. Something is about to happen to the king's carriage. That's uh, very unfortunate. So let's see if that succeeds. And it did. So now we have a little child ruler with a regent with slightly less marshals. So that should impact his the main troops a bit. And we are going to take this opportunity to... Uh, not declare a war because that was linked to the character so we'll just have to ask the Pope for another invasion <laughs> and now we can declare war invade England and hopefully since he spent about half his crusade money already we can uh, just beat him up with superior amounts of mercenaries um, let's hire two mercenary bands and have them not go through poets at the same time as that will uh, be bad for attrition let's also raise our levies and we'll have our levies hang out in poets so they can reinforce whichever mercenary army needs help if the uh, english show up also in the meantime it seems our wife has passed away so we're going to f need to find a new one Let's go with the Princess of Norway, I think. And maybe we can even get 
the Norwegian king to help us out in the war. Now let's offer an alliance. Oh look, he's willing to help us. Call to arms. Did we happen to have any other alliances we could call in? Can we call in our tributary? So let's see, did they hire any troops? It doesn't appear that England hired any troops, so we should be able to win this war against them. It'll just take a while while uh, we siege things down. Now, as it is, is an uh, evasion, Casus Belli. We will take all occupied territory, so the more we take, uh, the better, but it will be a bit hard to. Uh, take a lot of land as uh, we do have all those mercenaries that we need to pay for. Uh, this battle is won and that's probably a strong sign of how the rest of the war will go. So uh, we'll just uh, come back to this when the war is over unless anything interesting happens in the meantime. Alright, we have reached 100% war score, so we could end the war now, but uh, as the King of England did also form the kingdoms of Ireland and Aquitaine, he is going to stay independent with those kingdoms, and uh, as the uh, part of, of Wales that we need is obviously not in England, de jure, we are not going to get that uh, just from winning uh, the war, so we need to make sure to actually occupy it, so that... Uh, we have everything in Wales that we actually need, otherwise we would end up having to uh, fight another war against England later on to actually get the rest of Wales, which uh, would be a bother. I'm not quite sure how we managed to lose that, but uh, let's just uh, make sure to send in a an army with uh, some actual commanders. That would probably help in... Uh, making sure to win this battle <laughs> and there we go that army has been beaten again and let's make sure to get that final county in Wales and then we will get our peace and uh, that's uh, just in time too because we just hit bankruptcy so uh, yeah we'd uh, lose our mercenaries at this point if we continued the war that would be bad Luckily, we don't have to worry about that, as uh, we did manage to succeed in winning this war. Um, so now we have a bunch of holdings to give away, because, well, we got every single holding in all of the counties where we had something occupied. So we'll be uh, getting rid of some holdings, and then we'll get back to this. So we have managed to uh, get rid of, I think, almost all of the baronies. So uh, now with that done, let's make sure we uh, give some land to our relatives. Now, of course, we do want to uh, make sure that it are relatives that uh, hold the land so that later on we can start giving them duchies and they will count towards the Princess of Wales challenge. So uh, we'll just make sure we... Uh, have given everyone we can that uh, isn't a direct heir some land. reason I don't want to give land to people who are already heirs of things is because I don't want to start messing up uh, de jure things too much normally. Now that is going to happen this time, but it's just uh, a habit thing. I'd like uh, to hold the uh, capital region of uh, England as my personal domain, so we are going to give away the two parts that uh, weren't our original capital in Wales. Now that's uh, that sorted out. Let's get rid of our levies. Now, unfortunately, since uh, the King of England did form Aquitaine and Ireland, we are not able to create enough duchies to give uh, all of our new relatives so we do need to uh, either revoke some or conquer some extra land to be able to uh, get our challenge done. But at least there are enough relatives hanging out in our realm now that uh, once we do 
have the ability to get all of those duchies we can immediately uh, give them to our relatives and get the challenge done oh there's uh, already one extra duchy so let's uh, see who's going to be the lucky man let's just give it to the one in the du jour capital He's going to lose those vessels, of course, once we have the ability to get more duchies. But for now, he gets to rule over some people. And, uh, yeah, we'll just keep an eye out for any vessels that are plotting anything. And as soon as someone, some duke is plotting something, we'll try to imprison them. And hopefully they will uh, revolt and then we can take their duchy from them. Great news, we have gotten our first revolt. Uh, once I can change my focus again, we're going to go for the intrigue focus so that we can start spying on our vessels and hopefully uh, find more excuses to revoke their titles. But for now, just uh, letting them revolt through uh, getting them to plot and then trying to imprison them will do just fine for us. Enough time has passed so we can switch to the intrigue focus. So. Uh Let's start spying on people. Where shall we begin? Let's start close to our capital. Uh, maybe not our anti-pope. We didn't create that one, but uh, turns out the King of England had one, which is probably part of the reason why we were allowed to invade them. But um, now we have an anti-pope. Anyway, let's uh, begin with East Anglia. We can currently create two extra duchy titles and in addition to the one we got from a rebelling vessel here and the duke over here we're at uh, four out of nine and uh, hopefully our intrigue focus will get us uh, five out of nine soon enough also fun thing that happened uh, Middlesex became Welsh so uh, we're already replacing the Anglo-Saxons with Welsh people uh, on this island Soon it will be Celtic completely once again. Well, aside from, uh, you know, Ireland, which is ruled by the English. This is, this is fine. Also, a thing that I uh, completely forgot to pay attention to is uh, I had my uh, children married to just random people. Um, yeah, don't do that. Make sure your four oldest one are at least married to English people with uh, claims. Otherwise, they're not going to count or... Uh, Getting married to English people with claims or titles, obviously. Maybe we can uh, use some plots to uh, revoke things. We can, in fact, revoke the Prince Bishop Brick of Durham. So that is. Oh. Oh. Uh, that's over here, so let's already send some troops up north. And uh, yeah, we'll just use this plot to uh, revoke one. Duchy at least. Uh, we need to have at least 80% plot power. We are at 79.8% of course. Let's see. Well, um, looks like uh, this uh, fella would be willing to help us in exchange for a gift. So we'll just have to uh, save up that 50 extra gold. We'll go a lot faster if we uh, don't have our own levies up. There we go. Send gift. Revoke that title. Start the war. Let's split our troops to make sure that our enemy can't raise any levies and isn't able to do anything. And we should uh, have our, what is it, fifth duchy soon enough? Uh, yeah, this should be our fifth. Oh no, what happened? Did some ducal family completely die out what a shame that is of course another way to get some duchy titles uh, as we're getting pretty close to having enough let's just create the duchy titles we uh, have and uh, start giving them to well rulers of our dynasty honestly since uh, we're getting close to the end of this particular uh playthrough I don't really care too much who gets what we'll just make sure everyone has something at least everyone we have 
land four. And uh, we do of course want to make sure they're not dukes already. And let's see how far we are. We are at, oh, we do not have the Kingdom of Wales yet. Yeah, that's, that's probably a uh, good thing to get. That way we can also offer vassalization to this guy, which he apparently doesn't want. Well, that's, that's just fine. What do we need to declare war on him? A valid Casus Belli. Release tributary. Declare war. And, um, well, let's just uh, do the de jure claim for his uh, duchy. And also let us check how far we are now. We are at seven dynasty members. So once we have won this war, we'll have completed Dragon's uh, Fire. And we can use our anti-pope, hopefully, to get two more duchy titles off of our vessels. And perhaps by that time, uh, our four eldest children will also be old enough that uh, they can get married. So then we'll have everything completed. Let's just uh, quickly win this war. And uh, once we have won this war, we can start stealing more duchies from our vessels. They're uh, not really willing to plot, it seems. At least not too willing. They probably saw what happened to the one person who did decide to plot. There we go, 100% war score. That's done. Can we claim it? We can. We have gotten our claim, so we can revoke this title. We have gotten a reason to arrest this man. And his rebellion will give us the final duchy that we need. Let's just go ahead and give this one the duchy of Duhoibarth. And that's another duchy for us. So revoke that, revoke that. Do we have any uh, unlanded men of our dynasty? We do have a kinsman who is unlanded of our dynasty. So let's just go ahead and give him that duchy. And uh, that's our nine princes of Wales. We also have the dragon's fire completed. So now we just need to get our four married children. So we'll just let the game run on max speed and uh, get people married whenever possible. And we're almost there. And there we go. Four children married to English spouses. All changes done. That was it for King Llewellyn II, the Great of Gwynedd. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, please uh, subscribe so that you will be notified when there are more videos that you will enjoy watching. And uh, until the next video of this series is up, I hope you have a great time.